Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It's been a while. So today I wanted to go ahead and update, update you guys with the League Starter Righteous Fire Inquisitor. Um, I have decided to uh, use a Brass Dome and I'll talk about the other choices and itemization I've kind of done because I've changed a few things. Skill tree still a little bit the same. You'll notice I have a like a two, well a one cluster but two medium cluster setup now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into a T14 map real fast. We've got a Veritania. So it should be a nice little boss kill showcase. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about it as we go. So I do apologize. I have not really been able to put out content the way I wanted to uh, since these the latency spikes have been like really, really, really bad for me. Looks like we're good. All right, let's go ahead and pop this. Okay. So I did decide specifically to go for Brass Dome over Shadow Stitch. Um, even though you get a lot less overall effective life and you do lose quite a bit of damage by not having the huge effective life from Shadow Stitch, in my opinion, it's just much more friendly to gear into because you don't have to worry about spam corrupting things. Because you don't have to worry about spam corrupting, it's just a lot easier for you to kind of mess around with your gear, I guess you could say, right? Go ahead and pop this. I don't ever do incursion. So I'm just gonna pick something random. These guys are tanky. Yeah, so to go back to the uh, explanation on the three different chess pieces you can use, you've got the option of, for endgame, of course, a rare crafted chess piece. Um, I don't know exactly what the benefit of a rare crafted chess piece would be over Shadow Stitch. I guess the fact that you just don't have to, like, worry about having, uh, you know, like, corruptions on, basically, right? So you have more flexibility with your gear. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much about it. I don't even know the most ideal stats you would want on one. Uh, because in the past, you would run physical damage taken as X element, usually fire. But now with armor scaling, you don't necessarily need to do that. I mean, it still helps, but uh, it, I don't know. I just don't really feel it's as important. The endurance charge, if you've been hit recently, is pretty good. And then you can get like max res. But you can literally get five max res on a... Uh, you can get 5 max res now on Brass Dome, which makes Brass Dome just... Oh, I'll come back for that. Which makes Brass Dome just so nice of an option to pick. Uh, it doesn't cost that much currency, and now with the new Tainted stuff, you can basically just buy a base Brass Dome, divide it up to 5 max res, and then 4 6 link it as well, which is really, really nice. Harvest too. They always give me all the stuff, man. Whenever I make a YouTube video, I get delirium. I have harvest. I guess incursion, to be fair, was from Sexton modifier, but I was not counting that. So.
Okay, so this is a crit multi, hex proof, and feeble. Well, the crit doesn't matter, the enfeeble doesn't matter. So hex proof, and is it endurance charges? Maybe not. Oh no, she's got endurance charges. Yeah, so hexproof endurance charges. Okay. My only consolation is that I am. Okay, so to talk a little bit about the build, kind of some things that I've done slightly differently. Okay. Um, so as for my tree, my tree is pretty much identical. The only part that's not is I did decide to go more offensive and purchase some cluster jewels. Now, these cluster jewels were literally between 30 and 50 chaos. Um, so right here, they're just either damage over time or fire damage over time, aka burning damage. And they're just flow of life and vile reinvigoration. Uh, vile reinvigoration is not really very good but it does give 24% increased damage and a little bit of ES. I'd prefer Student of Decay, but I wanted to test out with the clusters first. Student of Decay, Decay brings it to like 4X. Um, same thing with Burning Bright. Burning Bright would just be a better version of Vile Reinvigoration, but it's like 4X, and I just wanted to test this out first. Um, so basically, the purpose of this is just getting more increases. Um, so you've got like 24% increase, 24% increase, 24, 24. And the reason why I decided to do that is I realized that in my build, I went so heavy on multipliers, aka, you know, um, damage over time multiplier weapon, which we finally just upgraded. Um, damage over time multiplier originally on my amulet that we just upgraded. Uh, damage over time multiplier on your gloves, and then going for every single damage over time multiplier uh, on the tree, the new jewel affixes for, you know, double damage over time multiplier. I realized that I was severely lacking increases with my build. So increases became very, very strong. That's part of the reason why I have Prismatic Heart now for two points. Um, not necessarily something you have to get. It's just I was also resistant star. So uh, to go over again, uh, the reason why I'm using Brass Dome right now is Brass Dome gives a hefty amount of armor. So standing still in my hideout right now, I'm at 42,000 with no flasks except for anything. You can go way higher. Um, like as an example, if I come over here and spec into champion of the cause i actually go to like fifty thousand armor which is kind of nuts um same thing with like yeah 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 pretty much champion of the cause i think takes me to 50k actually is my banner on it is right yeah banners on um so brass stone gives you super high max res so it puts us at 90 fire uh 84 cold 84 lightning it is the more tanky option compared to shadow stitch shadow stitch should give you uh larger rf numbers because you are straight up increasing your effective life Whereas Brass Dome is reducing your life by not allowing your strength to actually give you HP, as you can see here. But it does make you very, very tanky. And what I've been doing recently is, you know, just kind of gearing my character up towards the content I want to run. So I'm doing a ton of like Double Beyond, Triple Beyond, and Glen Carnes, and there's just a bunch of shit all over the screen. I can't see what's happening. Brass though makes me thick. It, it really like allows me to kind of just like face tank pretty much everything. Uh, then the uh, take no extra damage from crits is really nice. You can still like achieve crit immunity, especially if you use like a determination watcher's eye. If you come over and grab like Sanctum of Thought that we had originally, and then under your armor mastery, you take the, uh, where is it over here? Here we go. Under Armor Master, you can take the reduced extra damage from crit. Then you can get a Watcher's Eye for determination, reduced crit damage. Or you can even make it so your Shadow Stitch has reduced extra damage from crits, which makes it really, really strong. Um, but again, you know, tinkering out with some stuff. Uh, I'm just really liking Brass Stone because, again, going back to the Shadow Stitch, I just don't want to corrupt every piece of gear I have and then be like, oh, well, I really wish I had this suffix instead of what I crafted. So until I have a more permanent gear solution... Um, I think I will continue with the Brass Dome setup. Uh, I'd also like to note that I'm still using the same helmet, meaning if I had a Conk Effect helmet, my RF would be significantly higher than what it is. Uh, I'm currently running an 870k in hideout, so that's not with you know any other buffs on. Also, um, I can run Aspect of the Spider because of my Malevolence Reservation. 
So I have an old weapon that is over here. Let's see, where did I put it? This was my older weapon that I benchcrafted Aspect of Spider on. Um, and to run Aspect of Spider, all I really need to do is come over here and grab Champion of the Cause and Reservation Efficiency. It's actually super worth it for me to do this because then I can also get 15% increased effect of your auras. The problem is I actually don't have any viable affixes to craft Spider on right now. Um, so instead of coming down here to do this, uh, that's where I opened up an extra cluster setup where I took like Vile Reinvigoration, Flow of Life as a cluster spot. As for the rest of my gear now, what we're doing, um, my rings are pretty solid. They give me a lot of decks to level up my Swift Affliction now and my faster attacks. So I'm pretty happy with my rings. Still would like to get a suffix with flam on hit, but I mean, I don't know how I'm going to do that right now because, oh, I do know how I would do that. I would get an implicit for flam on hit and then I could have these exact same stats. So I guess that would be it is getting an implicit for flam on hit. Um, and this ring is kind of the same thing. It's got T1 life. Uh, Chaos Resist, Dex, Minimum Frenzy. Amulet, we got so fucking lucky with. My friend actually crafted it. He basically, you awaken an orb, a plus one on a plus one marble base. Then uh, he had prefix open for life. So he went and bench crafted life and he asked if I had harvest, um, reforge life. So he crafted prefixes cannot be changed for 2x. I slammed it with uh, harvest reroll for reforge life. It hit T4 life some i don't know how i don't know what the chance is but it actually hit malevolence mana reservation and then because of that when you put the fertile catalyst on it actually increases the mana efficiency of your uh, malevolence on that specifically because it's tagged as mana and it's a life and mana catalyst so i didn't know that that was pretty crazy um so this amulet is, is really really nice i'd say some of the next big steps are uh, probably getting a new shield. I really don't like Rise of the Phoenix anymore. Uh, I would much rather capitalize on having higher total res. So Awakener Orbing two shields together for a three max fire res, two all res shield um, with a decent life roll is something I'm going to aim for. The only reason I haven't done it is, as you can tell, my Chaos is not capped now. Um, it is capped if you take into consideration like Chaos resistance against damage over time, but not against everything in general. Uh, this is also why I'm using a masochistic amethyst flask right now so that it also is kind of uh continuously keeping the chaos resist up another thing is i have been heavily debating dropping replica soul tether um for a option over here for corrupted soul it's just i need a really 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 good belt and the reason why is i'm gonna have to remove damage on the tree to be able to get the belt so that's the only part that i don't want to do um, I would have to either drop like multipliers up here, which I don't really want to drop because I really need this source of multiplier. Um, or I would have to drop a cluster jewel setup at the moment to get it. And at the moment, I really want to go back into the reservation section over here. So I'm kind of torn on what to do right now. I just got to play around with the character more. Um, as I'm running like the deeper beyond content now, it's really giving me an appreciation of being super, super tanky. So that's kind of one other thing that I really like. Anyway... I think that pretty much covers about everything that I've been doing. Um, I will have a more fleshed out, I guess, video guide at the end of all of this. Uh, it's just right now I'm trying to give you guys kind of as much information as I can, right? Yep, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you guys have any questions, of course, feel free to drop them down below. Um, I'll do my best to answer them and do remember the import feature in Path of Building. I do have a command for this on my stream, um, but I just want to go ahead and take a minute out to just show you guys how to actually import builds with Path of Building. So over at the top here where it says import, you click it, you type in my account name Pox, you go down to the Scourge section, you hit the Passive Tree, and item and skills, but you make sure I'm under the exact character, so I only have one. And then you're done. And that's everything. And then you have my Righteous Fire character. You may have to mess around with the calculator, though, because I don't know if... Or, sorry, the... Uh, yeah, the configuration. I don't know if this tags everything. I'm not big into Path of Building, so I just like using it for the skill trees. Anyway, catch you guys all later. Thanks for watching. See you guys all tomorrow.